Welcome to the episode of Pick and Pop. We talk about the intriguing topics in sports and pop culture. It's your boy MJ, and today we got Sylvia Sage in the house. Hey. Woo, Lego. <laughs> And with the World Series winding down, some people think some fans have taken it just a little too far. World Series, Game 5. Millions of people watching. Hey! <laughs> Those are good titties, too. Yeah, yeah. Are you? I mean, because I know yeah. you are the expert. You are the expert, so I would defer to you. I've seen a lot of titties. So okay. Those titties look good. Absolutely. Nice. And, 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 I, and I love how, like, I feel like his inner monologue was what every guy was thinking <laughs> while they're watching the game. He's like, what titties? <laughs> what titties? <laughs> what titties? <laughs> <laughs> it's so true, though. <laughs> oh. And I love that they did it for a good cause. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I know they did it for, like, their magazine, like, Shag Mag, which is, like, a digital millennial. Yeah. Thing, but they also... The, they raise money for breast cancer awareness, which is awesome. Like, what a great cause to do that for. And they did get banned from Major League Baseball, but who cares? I've been banned from Fox Sports, so, I mean, I get it. Well, like, one thing they were saying, too, was... Like there's a double standard between men and women because there are a lot of 100%. men. There are, there are a lot of men who always like flash themselves. They're and they don't wearing really get... like the letters of the team on their naked bodies. Yeah, yeah. yeah, absolutely. And because there's a little bit more fat behind our nipples, like it's a bad thing. Like I've seen a lot of fat dudes with their titties out. <laughs> so. <laughs> Like, I would much rather see those titties than the titties I've been seeing at sports games. And then also, I'm wondering, like, did he lose his concentration? Like, did this picture, <laughs> like, if you're really, like, you're in the zone. Does anyone know what happened on that pitch? No, I, anyone? I, 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 I should have I looked at it. I should have done my research. But I'm like, I'm like, he probably just threw one, like, way over here. Or if they even played. Like, if he even, or did they stop? They didn't stop the game, right? Yeah, he probably got something in his ear that said, like, cover the titties. Right, right. Yeah. I, mean, I, mean, it, I mean, it's wild. That's, like, I've never yeah. seen something quite like that before. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's awesome. Then these are the ladies uh, talking about their experience. Yo, we just flashed the whole World Series Game 5, baby. Shag man. For Shag man. At least, like, I'm sure they got so much money for breast cancer awareness yeah. just off of that stunt alone. Absolutely. And also, I'm thinking the fact that the MLB banned them from all these stadiums gave them even more publicity. Like, they just did so much for their brand, for breast cancer, for everything. Like, I'm <laughs> impressed. Like, I'm just pissed I didn't think of it, you know? Good job, ladies. <laughs> The only thing that makes me sad is that I know that they're like 15 years younger than me, but it's okay. Oh, no, so, no, 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 no. What you mean? This is, this is the Sylvia Sage. We out here. You know, now I'm like the mom of sex. Like, I, okay. I like to give lessons. I like to ah. give sex education. Now, does, does that mean you don't perform anymore? Or? No, I definitely do still perform. Okay, okay. Yeah, 100%. That's, gotcha. I'm, not, I'm not going away until... I have to. Okay. We'll okay. say that. So so you might be like 80 years old still putting no, in No, that's way before have to. Like I <laughs> I think I think your body has to be a certain level of like tightness oh, to remain in the industry. But I think there's some women out there who have done some amazing things. Like have you seen like the way JLo's looking, Selma Hayek? Oh, that's what I'm saying. That's so, what so I'm like, saying. I mean, they keep... are still having that level of tightness. They could JLo porn will welcome you <laughs> at any point in time. Subscribe, Subscribe to, to Matthew, Matthew Jordan, Jordan Presents. presents. Now, here at the show, I'm a big Lakers fan. I hope they take it all the way this year. But I got to say, there's some things concerning me this season that I've never quite seen before. Check it out. Lakers starting forwards have outscored the Jazz starting forwards. What'd he say? <laughs> he's like, yo, there's something wrong with your hair, bro. Your hair is coming. And, and then I love what he's saying. He's kind of smiling at the same time. He's kind of just like, yo. I like, didn't see that. Dude, it reminds me of like a kid trying to tell his dad like something's oh, wrong with, no. his, with his appearance, but like you don't want to be disrespectful. And then he goes to fix it. Yeah. Mm hmm. That's the one that hurts my heart for him. Me, me too, because I was just a little confused. Yeah, but I know men who spray in their hairline. It's a thing. It, I, I know what the internal self-conflict is to have something wrong with you, you know, because like, I hate my ass. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. I've got these weird ass dimples on the top and the bottom of my ass, and I just despise it. And so if someone makes a comment towards my ass, I'm like, I have to kill myself, you know? Like, it's just like detrimental to me. So I can only imagine, like, this is on your face, this is on your head. 90% of my life I get to cover my problem and he doesn't get to cover it ever and, and a lot of people in the comment section are like hey like why don't you just fall in the steps of like some of the other legends like Kareem Abdul-Jabbar or when shave it off. shave it off Kobe Bryant 
um, Charles Barkley. Like, every, yeah, like but every, men try to hold on to it, you and, know. But but to me, I'm like, like you're like one of the greatest basketball players of all time. Like <sighs> you're extremely successful. You have a wife. You have kids. Like at, at this point, I was just like, like who cares? Yeah. Like, like like who really cares? It's fine, dude. You're fine. You're fine. Oh. Now I had another concern about this though. <laughs> to me, it's like. Where did the rest of it go? Number two, <laughs> if it's going on the floor and there's a bunch of sweat on it, this could be a safety hazard. Okay, <laughs> people could be spraining their ankles. That's so, true. Someone can tear an ACL. <laughs> like if the if the sweeper people don't get there fast enough. That's true. Like, like someone could hurt themselves. So my whole thing is like we got to make sure we're doing this in a safe manner. Yeah. And then also we have another shot of it from the back. So. Oh no. <gasps> Oh no, I hadn't seen it from the back. Oh, you know, you know, so it kind of looks like a smiley oh, face. Man. Oh, I hadn't seen this view. That's how I feel about this. I'm like, shut up, he's a yeah. nice person. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like LeBron is a nice person. <laughs> like he's done so much for other people. He's had the charter school systems where he like he gives them like free meals yeah. and like free tuition. So like this is so that's I'm like, LeBron, right. you good. Yeah. LeBron, you good. Don't don't worry about what all the haters Dude, are saying. Yeah. You good, bro. You good. So true. Now we've all heard of James the Giant Peach, but this year we've got a Tennessee man with a giant pumpkin. <laughs> Check it out. <laughs> what is this? I don't know. A farmer in Cleveland, Tennessee grew a 910 pound pumpkin. After harvesting the seeds for next year, he hollowed it out, made a boat. Really, bro? That's what we doing now in Tennessee? In Tennessee, yeah. See, th this will not happen in LA. This yeah. is some Tennessee stuff. No, you, we got too much going on. You know, you guys got the green thumb. <laughs> like, maybe things are slowing down, coming towards the holiday season. This is my favorite part. This part of the video that's coming up right now, this is my favorite part. Please every, tell every, me he sinks. Everyone, everyone thought it was a successful endeavor. <gasps> oh, yes, please. Not so much. <gasps> And well, look at that. He's standing up in it. Kamasi told, told me something What'd recently, I say? and you said that pumpkins are what? Oh, I feel like we need to do a, a rest. <laughs> <laughs> I was really hoping it would sink. It does float, though. It does. So it does. But okay. I, I think he got a little too cute with it. He got a little yeah. too brave. We thought he was the man, and then uh, yeah. we saw what oh, happened. Oh man! There. Thanks, Tennessee. Now every year when Halloween comes around, everyone tries to come up with the best haunted house. Mm -hmm. Well, this gentleman, I think, took it just a little too far. So apparently, if you finish this haunted house, you're awarded $20,000. That's if you finish it. And apparently, it's 10 hours of torture, which is everything but not limited to being buried alive. They can extract your teeth without Novocaine. Mm. They can put you in this 150-foot moat where there are like alligators, water moccasins, venomous snakes. And you might die. Yes. Like, for real, for real. Yes. Like, you have to sign so many different waivers to even do this thing. Like, that's insanity. I didn't even know the teeth without Novocaine. Apparently, like, all you have to do to get access to it, you have to, like, deliver, like, a five-pound bag of, like, dog food for his dogs. Wow. So, so there's, like, a backed-up waiting list. <gasps> and that many people are trying this? Yes. Yeah, like, like, to me, like, that's what's wrong with this world is, like, there's wow. a waiting list for something like this. Like, because it's $20,000 and people are broke. How much money would it take for you to even try something like this? That you there isn't an amount. I wouldn't do it. I agree because yeah. like no one's pulling out my teeth. That's what I'm saying. I mean, when they said buried alive, I'm like, no. So you're telling me I could die right. doing this? Right. Your oxygen is cut off. Like no, no. And and, and he literally interviews every person. First of all, to make sure they're not crazy. But I mean, <laughs> aren't you kind of crazy for doing yes. this? Yes. Like y'all out here using hypodermic needles, <gasps> zappers, tasers, dog shot collars. Oh my god. Nail may pierce their hand and be smashed with tools. What? Nails may, may be removed from their nail beds? Uh-uh. Nah. Nah, that's... These aren't even <laughs> psychological. These are like real, true, ruin your life type of things. Yes. Like They can even give you a tattoo. I'd be pissed. I would be so mad at somebody. These are just things you don't do to other people. Like, this is this guy. He's like a serial killer, and he doesn't want anybody to know it. He wants to legally be a serial killer. That's what this is. And also, to get a tattoo removed, that's pretty expensive. Yeah. So, like, that's going to cut into the 20 grand. Right. And especially the teeth that got taken out, that's going to be a few grand. Oh, my like, like God. At the, at the end of the day, you're, you're going to break even on this. Yeah, that's what I'm with saying. With all the mental torture. No and, no, way. Actually, no, no. You're going to lose money because you're gonna, all the therapy you're going to have to do right. after this. Yeah. So, you're going to lose money. Oh, my God. Just to say you did it. And now it's time for the viral victory of the week. The viral victory of the week goes to Fat Cat. <laughs> Yay, fat cat! <laughs> Yo, everyone knows that I'm a big cat lover, 
But to me, I would call this cat abuse. You know? It is the first owner, but this, you know, this is a new owner that has oh. it now. The first owner said they couldn't take care of it anymore. See, now this is my thing. And I, yeah. my, my dad's a vet and I was having <laughs> this conversation with him and I was like, pops, let me tell you something. <laughs> when a cat is this fat, that is the fault of human it beings. Is, yeah. Okay. Cause there's no way a cat can naturally just get that fat. Yeah. Like that is a human being being abusive with the feeding. Mm -hmm. Okay. This, this counts as clinically grossly obese. Good girl. Oh my god! I, I, I love like, just the one paw. Just <laughs> this is hard. Uh, I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> and, 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 and I love how everyone like comes out with the workout memes. Everyone's like, "Oh yeah, that's me. That's me with working out." I'm like, no, this is this is not a laughing matter. This cat could die I from obesity. No, this poor kitty. Are you working out? I, don't know, I feel like this dude who's talking it sounds hella creepy. Yeah, <laughs> you working out? Like, 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 like he got like got, got like a cat fetish. <laughs> he kind of does like, sound yeah, like he's like doing, hitting I, on the I cat a like, little bit. Yeah. You working out? Oh, good girl. I sounded the, a little creepy the right good there. Good girl sounded creepy, and, 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 I, and I would defer to you. I would defer to you. It on, did sound like a on, sexual good girl on creepy people <laughs> because I'm sure you deal with a lot of them. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, yeah, yeah, I do. Uh, I actually have to go to my mailbox later today, and I'm worried that um, I might die because I have fan mail from a fan who was mad at me from a long time and then wrote me an email recently that was like apologizing for being mad at me and then was like, you have more gifts waiting for you. And I was like, he's going to kill me. He's going to put a bomb in my mailbox. He knows my mailbox. Like I'm going to go open what I think is going to be a gift. And I think I'm going to die today. It's a little, just a little heads up, but we'll see. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but yeah. So on the level of creepy, I know it. Um, I, I'm, glad, I'm glad we have this on tape. So everybody, if you don't, if she goes missing. This was the last video I made today. Thanks for watching the episode of Pick and Pop. Uh, make sure to share, like, subscribe, follow us on Instagram. Till next time. Woo. Lego. <laughs> She's like, damn, dude. <laughs> so much. <laughs>